Let's continue learning about file management. In this video, we'll talk about moving files versus copying files and look at a couple different ways to accomplish both. The distinction between moving files and copying files is pretty simple, but it's important. Moving a file is exactly what it sounds like. You take a file or folder and move it from one place to another. After you move it, it lives in a new place and is no longer present in the original location. Copying, on the other hand, creates a duplicate of the file in the target location while leaving the original in place. Generally speaking, you move files when you want to organize them, and you copy files when you want to share them or back them up for safety. Operating systems like Mac OS and Windows understand that this is how moving and copying are generally used, and that understanding is reflected in the default behaviors of their interface. Let me clarify through example. Here on my desktop, I have an icon for Macintosh hard drive and another for 8GB flash drive. If you're on a Mac and you don't have an icon for Macintosh hard drive or for external drives that you plug in, just go to Finder, Preferences, and make sure that hard disks and external disks are checked. I'm also going to uncheck Open Folders in Tabs instead of New Windows. And I'll close this out. I'm going to open Macintosh hard drive now by double clicking. And I have two folders in here already I've made for this demonstration. The first is called My File Source. I want to see this in its, in its own new window. So I'm going to right click and choose Open in New Window. And I want the other folder in its own window too. Instead of right clicking, I'm going to hold down Command and double click on My File's destination. And there it goes. I'm going to close this original window now. And now I've got my two folders side by side, which is a great way to be configured when you're working with files. I'm going to select everything in the My File Source window now. There's a couple ways I could do this. I could click on the top, hold down Shift, click on the bottom. I could also hit Command A to select all. Or I could drag a selection around all of them. Once I have them all selected, I'm going to drag them to my other folder. What I want you to notice just happened is that it moved the files from my file source to my file's destination. The reason it moved them is because my file source and my file's destination are on the same volume. They're on the same drive. They're both on Macintosh hard drive. And the reason it moves them is because the Mac is assuming that since they're on the same drive, I'm just trying to organize my files. It thinks, I just want to move them from one place to another um, so I can get them in a better place. It didn't copy them. It didn't make new copies. It moved them. If I grab them and move them back, now they're gone from the other folder. If I do want to copy them, there's a couple ways I can do that. One is to do the same thing, but hold down Option as I drag them from one place to another. Notice now they've copied, and I have two copies of all these files now. There's another way I could do this. To First, I'll delete the ones in the destination folder by hitting Command A, and then I can delete by hitting Command Delete. I could also have dragged them to the trash, but Command Delete is faster. My other option is similar to what you may be used to in a word processor, which is to copy the files to the clipboard either by hitting Edit Copy 18 Items or just hitting Command C, and then going to my destination folder and either hitting Edit paste or hitting command V. Okay, we've achieved the same thing again. So the point here was that on the same volume, the default behavior when you drag files from one place to another is to move them and that you need to use a modifier or a shortcut key if you want to copy them. Let's take a look at the distinction now. I'm going to delete these and close this folder. Rather than using my file's destination as the destination folder, I'm going to now open 8 gigabyte flash drive. This now is a different drive. Watch what happens when I drag these files over to it. I'm not holding down any modifier keys, but notice now it's copying all of the files. The default behavior of a Mac is to copy the files when it's to a different volume. Because it's to a different volume, it's thinking that I'm probably wanting to either share these files with someone else or maybe make a backup copy for safety, which is always a good idea. But because it's another drive, it's defaulting to copying them rather than moving them. If I actually did want to move these, and I will delete them from this folder, 
If I actually do want to move them, I have to hold down the command key, actually. I hold down the command key and drag them over. And notice now it is moving all of these files. So once they are done, they will disappear from the source folder. And notice that they have all been moved across. There is one other way to move files other than holding down the command key while you drag and drop them. That is something similar to what we did before. First, I'm going to copy them by hitting Command C, go to my destination folder, and now if I'm using a newer version of OS X, this doesn't work on older ones, but if I'm using a relatively new version, I can hit Command Option V to paste, and now instead of, instead of copying the files, it's moving them here. So that's your other choice. Let's take a look at the same process in Windows to see exactly how it works. Here we are on a Windows 7 desktop. Let's go through those same steps again quickly so you can see the similarities and differences. I'll open computer, open my hard drive, and I see the same two folders. I'm going to right click on my file source and choose open a new window. And I'll drag this over to the left. And I'm going to control double click on my file's destination to achieve the same thing and I'll drag that over to the right. I'm going to select these files now and notice if I drag them across the default behavior on Windows is the same as on a Mac. If the folders are on the same drive it's going to move them by default. It won't copy them and I can move them back. If I do want to copy them I have to hold down the control key and drag them and there they go. I have two copies. The alternative is also the same as a Mac. I can select the files, this time I'll hit Control A. I can hit Control C to copy, go to my destination folder and hit Control V to paste. And I've achieved the same thing. Let's look now at an external drive to see the distinction. I'm going to open this flash drive. If I select the files and drag them straight across now, just like on a Mac, the default behavior is to copy the files since it's to a new drive. I can delete them now. If I do want to move them, this time I need to hold down the shift key when I drag them across. And they have been moved. The alternative is a little bit different in Windows than it is on a Mac. Instead of hitting Control C to copy, I'm actually going to hit Control X to cut, much like you would do in a word processor. I'll go to my destination folder and now when I hit Control V, it will move the files rather than copy them. So as you can see, the default behavior is the same in Windows as it is on a Mac. There's just slight differences in the shortcut keys.